So we're back with the series on the nine main parts of speech, and the two we're going to look at today are conjunctions and prepositions. I'm lumping them together because they both deal with relating two things together, um, but in a different way, because I don't want you to confuse them. Um, so let's look at conjunctions first. Right, now a junction as you know, is, and a junction is where two things come together. For example, in roads, so junction meaning join. So we are joining. So whenever you see conjunction, you think join, you think like a road, you think like, like putting these two things that were separate into one thing. And what do you put together? You put phrases or sentences together. Okay, so when it comes to conjunctions, right, they join phrases or sentences together, okay? Sometimes we might say clauses as well. For example, if I say I like chicken and I say I like pizza, I have two complete sentences, and I'm going to then say, I like chicken and pizza. Oh, chucking. What is that? Right. And there's my conjunction. Right. That's the simplest one. Wow, I cannot type today. All right. Seriously. There we go. Uh, there is my conjunction. Okay. Now, of course, there are some simple conjunctions. There are hordes of conjunctions that I can teach you. We're not going to go through all of them. Um, you can also say something like, do you like chicken? And I can also ask, do you like pizza? And if I then join those together, it becomes, do you like chicken? And I'm going to leave it blank for a second so you can think about it. Pizza, question mark, and what are you going to say? Yes or. And there is another conjunction. Okay, those are simple. Um, you can have something like, oh, teacher, I didn't do my homework. The dog ate it. Okay, how do I combine that? I didn't do my homework because the dog ate it. And there's your conjunction. And that is why we don't start sentences with because or and, because they don't they they aren't they don't create sentences on their own. They join sentences, they join phrases, they join clauses together. Um, now, sometimes, now these have all been full sentences, right? I like chicken, I like pizza. Full sentence, combine it with and. Now, you'll notice, of course, I don't say I like chicken and I like pizza. That would be clumsy and cumbersome. Okay. And I say, do you like chicken? Do you like pizza? Oh, do you like chicken or pizza? That is a full sentence. That is a full sentence. Okay. And even here, I didn't do my homework. The dog ate it. Okay, two full sentences, I put it together with because. But what if I want to say something like this? Um, I will not study for my test. And then, but I want to add some information. Okay, and this is where we use a different kind of conjunction that doesn't join two sentences, but it adds an independent clause. So I'll say, I will not study for my test, but I want to say, I'll start tomorrow. But I'm not going to add, I will study for my test, I will start tomorrow. I'm going to say, I will not study for my test until tomorrow. All right. Now, if I take this right here, I will not study for my test. That could be a full sentence on its own. But until tomorrow, okay? Or I can even say something, un 
till my mom comes home. Okay, right. And and this adds extra information. So until becomes a conjunction there. Right. Now be careful. Up until now, and, or, because, until, they've all been in the middle, in between the two sentences or the two phrases that I have combined. That will not always be true for conjunctions. You can have a conjunction at the beginning. Watch this. Until my mom comes home, I will study for my test. Okay, and there's the conjunction still. Until my mom, because I'm still joining this with this, and it comes at the beginning. Okay, some conjunctions can be a little tricky because they have two parts, and I'll look at them briefly, but not too much. So some conjunctions will actually have consist of more than one word, which then makes it tricky to recognize them. If I say, I will pass the test as long as I study. Right. So what's the conjunction? As long as. Okay, as long as I study. If you say something like, um, let's say, so you would say, um, in, in order that I can buy a new phone, I must save money. And that whole thing becomes a conjunction. Okay. One conjunction that a lot of people miss is if, right? If I, if I study for the test, I will get an A. And there is if. Okay. And you can even switch it around. You can say I will get an A if I study for the test. And there it is again in a different place. Um, I'm not going to go through all the different conjunctions, but I think that gives you kind of an idea of how to recognize them. Okay, this brings us then to prepositions. Oop. Cannot type today. Prepositions. Right. Now, preposition also relates to two different things, right? Where an adjective describes one noun, an adverb describes one verb, an article is relating to one noun. Prepositions look at two things, but where a conjunction joins two phrases or two sentences, a preposition shows the relationship. I'm going to write, type that down. It shows the relationship between two or more nouns. There has to be two of them, at least. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So what do I mean by that? Now, many times you're told, oh, prepositions show you the place. That's not true. Okay. If I say, where is my pencil? And my friend says, it is or well, let's say, let's rather say, where did you put my pencil? Okay. 
and then your friend answers, I put the pencil there. Now there is showing me a place, isn't it? Now if you look at the word there, it relates to the word put, which is a verb. So there is actually an adverb in this case. It can be something else in other senses, but in this case, it's an adverb. Okay. But if I say I put the pencil on the table, now you need to be careful. Put is still a verb. Pencil, still a noun. The table, still a noun. Now, on is showing the relationship between the pencil and the table. And on is not related to the verb put here. So in this case, on will become your preposition. Right. Does that make sense? It is showing the relationship between the pencil and and the table. And there are a bunch of common prepositions, right? Where I say, I give a gift. Wow, cannot type today. Give a gift to my friend. Again, gift, friend. There it is. They are nouns. And two is my preposition. Okay, let's look at a few more examples. Okay, I am sitting uh, beside my my classmate. And here again. It shows a relationship between this pronoun right here and this noun right here. I am sitting beside my classmate. And this time they're not next to each other, so it makes it a little, a little more tricky to notice. Okay, if I say the car is traveling through the tunnel, you can see the car, the tunnel are my nouns, and the through is showing me the relationship between the two of them, and therefore it is again a preposition. Okay, so prepositions will be, of course, things like simple ones, the chicken is in the pot right okay and there's our preposition but there always has to be there have to be these two nouns for it to work because if i say the students are inside the class okay students Hold on. Class. Two nouns. Preposition. Inside. That's clear. But if I say students go inside, I could even I could even say outside. This would not be a preposition because there's only one noun that it relates to, and actually it's not relating to that, it's relating to this verb. And in this case, your inside will be an adverb because it's telling me where do they go. In this sentence right here, it's telling me where are the students in relation to the class? And that's why inside is a preposition in this case. Right, so just 
focus when you're looking at the prepositions, you always have to see there has to be a relationship between the noun and the other noun. Okay? And I hope that helps to show you just um, conjunctions and prepositions.